I started uh, when I was uh, eight years old, and I, I was uh, I, I was um, uh, playing parties for my mum and dad. They had a small turntable, and they would stick me in the corner and just give me a bunch of records to play, and don't move until everybody's gone home. Uh, only because I would hear the music come downstairs from from the bedroom and see everybody uh, party and have a good time. So uh, this is how I started, and I uh, put in records on. I didn't know what that was even. I just knew what 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 I liked to hear, and there was some James Brown and uh, and there was Aretha Franklin and uh, all sorts of old school kind of R&B and funk music, you know. And then uh, I I just kept uh, following uh, and pursuing this this kind of the music that I liked and found myself DJing at everybody else's parties, uh, my family and friends uh, all around the, the area that I used to live. Um, but as I was growing up, I, I got more and more into DJing. And then I kind of moved, around about 1984, I moved from South London into Brighton and created my own cold cock scene in Brighton. And, and this is where the kind of whole Acid House uh, sound move, movement started for me in Brighton around about 1986. Um, and then a lot, I found that a lot of parties I was doing, people were following uh, uh, the parties that I was playing at and enjoying the music that I was, I was basically getting hold of because I, I found myself getting drawn more and more into house and tech and tech techno music at, the early, at this time, which is more like acid house music. Techno wasn't really called techno then, it's acid house. And this is where the smiley face comes from. Norman Cook, he loves acid house. He uh, uh, still portrays the whole vibe of, 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 of acid house within, within his music. Um, so I found myself, you know, alongside Norman Cook quite quite a few times, and and Russell Smalls and Jason Fats are two of my oldest friends who had a great hit record uh, turnaround, which uh, then ended up uh, you know, with their album and and having worldwide acclaim. Um, but we're all really good friends, and and I found myself very comfortable living on the south coast in Brighton. Um, for me now, I kind of live uh, a half an hour b uh, back in mainland from, from Brighton and got my own space there. When I used to live in Brighton, it was very small. Uh, but also, you know, there's a really great scene on the south coast. They've always, people who go to Brighton always see it as uh, the little London with water. <laughs> so it's only 50 miles from London. People come down and enjoy themselves a lot. And, and I've built my career uh, by being in Brighton. I think a lot of it really is that we're, we're able to um, get our hands on all the technology to make music, where years before, uh, were, you know, you had to have a lot of money <laughs> to, to buy a Roland keyboard or a, or a drum machine or something like this. Now you can, have, on your own PC, you can have your own uh, 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 electronic studio, a recording studio. If you've just got a good idea, you can create something, you know, quite serious. Um, one of the bad things about it, in fact, is that we don't really see so much live musicians anymore, uh, because no one's playing in the guitar, bass, or well, if it's all samples at the moment, but not, not a lot of people care because what they're, what they're hearing is still good music. But it has taken out a live element of, of people who are creative music, which is a bit of a shame, really. But you find that more and more there's some really good sounds, some, 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 some music which, without the machine, we wouldn't be able to get to this point. And, uh, and I'm finding that you know, it's, it's music's getting more and more interesting the, the, the more people are getting into electronics, but also making it work and bringing your own self within the machines. Because you know, the machines won't work without the humans, and, uh, and that's clear. <laughs> Compromising as a DJ, that there is no compromise. You have to play what you believe in to be right for you. Um, I've gone through four different generations of, of, of sounds, of music from early 60s to present day. And at one point in my life, I played very much hardcore techno, hardcore Gabba style. Uh, and I like to play in it because, it, for me, it pushed the elements of what a DJ can play. Um, I don't play that anymore, but I did enjoy the aspect of being able to cross the line in the, in the sound of music. And now I'm playing the music for the 21st century, which is more uh, house, uh, tech house and techno. Uh, as you'll see from my set tonight, that uh, a lot of things have progressed from the early days of me playing um, uh, techno and house music. But to be honest with you, you, you have to play what you believe to be right for you. Um, so, you know, that could be anything as long as it's good music, and that's what I believe in. I've always played music to people who wanted to dance to music that I had chosen and selected. Um, this has been installed in myself from when I was very young, eight years old. Um, at that time, I had no idea about accolades or, or being number one DJ or, you know, superstar or anything. I just enjoyed playing music to people, and, uh, and that's the, you know, the only way that I've kind of carried on with this regime of what I do. Uh, I've just taken it 
a step further than anyone else, I think. And uh, I managed to maintain uh, an element of what I do, what I'm about, as Carl Cox to the people. Uh, and I believe that that's the thing that's uh, got me to where I am today. I have played to 1.8 million people at Love Parade, and that statement is about people coming together. And I've played to 50 people in a very small village hall for no money whatsoever, just so that people would like to see Carl Cox perform at a party. So the, the only statement is really that I make is that, that I'm able to get a lot of people coming together at the sort of events that I DJ at or perform at. And that can be anywhere at any time. I mean, I've performed in a toilet before in, in, in Australia for like 10 people and then have five people going to the toilet. So this is something which happens. Uh, it's all men's toilet, by the way, <laughs> not women's toilet. I wish it was women's toilet, but unfortunately they didn't have a DJ booth in there. But it does happen that I'm, I'm able to play anywhere, uh, which, which uh, the only statement that it, that it makes is that I bring people together with my music. And uh, I've seen you know, the, the masses and stadiums all over the world, in clubs, in the small clubs and bars and wine bars and, and school, uh, school halls and village as well as uh, uh, village halls as well. So I've seen it all really. I've been performing for 33 years, so that's a lot of gigs. <laughs> My idea really to, to DJ on three turntables was just because of kind of, uh, in the kind of late 70s, 78, 79, I was very much a hip hop DJ, uh, spinning on two turntables. And I found that I, I could do that very well. And I wanted to introduce uh, an, an element of creation, creativity by what I can do as a DJ by introducing the third turntable. And, uh, and since I was performing this trick, I suppose, uh, in the early days, uh, not a lot of people had seen that. And uh, I ended up perfecting the, the art of free deck turntable mixing. But what I do now is actually introduce uh, C, uh, CDJ, and it's a CD player by Pioneer, uh, which I love using because it actually acts as a turntable um, as well, uh, and, and you could do a lot more tricks and, and, uh, and effects and everything with this uh, new piece of machinery which is out now by Pioneer. Um, I'm not being sponsored by them, by the way, it's just uh, I, like, <laughs> I like using them. And uh, so I'm able to use uh, four uh, pieces of machinery now, two turntables, two CD, CDJs, and able to do a lot more uh, creativity uh, by having uh, the uh, CD players now in place of the extra turntable. But I believe there's three turntables tonight. Yes, yeah, so there's no getting away with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm DJ Cole Cox, and you're watching Techno. Yeah.